Alright guys, what's up? Mr. Bears here. Welcome to Dying Light. Now today I'll be showing you guys where a pretty sweet loot spot is. I have been there. I did record earlier. My audio didn't record properly and I merged it. It didn't merge right either. So, yeah, today I'll just be showing you some pretty basic loot spots. Um, some of you may know about, others might, may not. So, yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to show you guys. Um, in case you don't know, Dying Light is a zombie game, kind of like a... Kind of like Left 4 Dead, only it's a uh, it has parkour. Kind of like so, it kind of reminds me of Mirror's Edge in a way with zombies. Um, so yeah. Now I am quite a ways away, but I figured if you guys didn't know what the game was like, this would give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like. So I'm just not showing you a loot spot. I'm showing you some of what the gameplay is like too. Oh, got a little glitchy there. All right. What was that? I'm hearing some screaming here. I don't know if you guys can hear that either. It's the pretty sweet thing about this game is that you can like jump into those trash piles and everything. Now hopefully it won't get dark. It looks like on my watch that it's 8.29. Now it gets dark at around 10 o'clock. Now, obviously I'm guessing this is... Crap. I'm guessing this is in the morning, like 8 in the morning, hopefully. I mean, it looks a little bit too light out to be, uh, nighttime. But if not, I do have a safe house. I can just pause the video for you guys. Now, as you can see, what I did get was I got a gun from the loot spot, and as you can see, I have a lot of health packs. Those health packs, I got all of those from that area over there. Um, so that's really nice. If you're looking for health packs, then definitely do it up. Because even if you don't, like, you'll need them at some point. That's always nice just to have, like, an excess of them. Because you never know what could come up if you have, like, a boss fight or a lot of zombies you need to take care of. Then why not? So now, really, you can get to the bridge from anywhere. I'm just like spawned in that other area so that's where I'm going from. So I'll just run over here. One cool thing I can do is I can like kick off the zombies with the skill points I spent. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. That's a special zombie. He's really annoying. He'll spit at you and attract zombies and whatnot. Um, He actually hurt me on that one. Crap. I am running pretty low on health, but I should be good for now. So now to get to the spot, you do need a lot of... To do a lot of parkour. Now... So... I did this in the very beginning of the game, and then I also fully looted it, like everything looted. Just later today, when I like, had more upgraded skills. But really, you don't need much. I'm gonna heal myself real quick. Uh, really, you don't need much parkour skills, like you can upgrade your skill points. You don't need, like, any upgrade skill points to do this. I think all of it, it's all just basic parkour, but, like, then again, the whole game is. So, so the, as you can see, there's a lot of zombies, so just run along these cars, make sure you stay out of their reach. You should be pretty good if you just do that. So, what you wanna do is I'll show you guys where it is. It's right here along this bridge. Now this bridge, you have to, what we're going to do is we're going to get across this broken part to the loot spots. So this is where it is on the map and location and everything else. It's easy to find because the bridge is like the main part. And then what I would advise to do is you, there are parts where you can easily die. So unlock this safe house right here. You just clear it out and then you get it. So that way if you die... You spawn close to where the, uh, uh, where the bridge is. So basically, you just want to climb this area, area right here. You're climbing this tower on the bridge. And we're going to zip line down once we get to the top to where it is. Oh, crap. Oh my gosh, that was really close. I got scared for a second there. I thought I was going to die and I would have to restart. I accidentally pressed space, so we jumped off. 
Alright, so then what you want to do is when you get up here, you want to zip line across. So like I was saying before, always make sure that you're being really careful. Like, take your time with this, because this can be really tedious if you keep dying. Because it's not like you're going to spawn right here and then just be able to go over. So always take your time, make sure that it's like telling you what to do before you do it. Just in case you, because you really don't want to fall or make any bad mistakes. Because that'll be really annoying if you have to restart. So you want to jump up here. Probably turn my flashlight on. Now keep your distance when you do this jump because maybe sometimes he might just rebound off of it instead of grabbing onto it and then you'll fall. And then once you get up here, you will jump far. So try to jump more towards this ladder. Not don't jump right there because he may jump over and fall down. It hasn't happened to me yet, but it almost has once. So. And now, what you want to do now is you want to walk across these beams. So just be really careful that you don't fall here. Because we're almost done. You don't want to die on like one of the last steps. And then you want to, pretty much like before, you just want to climb up this way. You want to climb up this way. This is all really conveniently placed, I guess. And then jump up there. And then you just want to shimmy along this edge over here. Once you climb up, don't go down that way. I made the mistake of doing that the first time. That's the wrong way. You'll have to climb all the way back up. So you want to zip line on this line right here down to those tents. So what you want to do is you want to jump and then grab onto the zip line. I almost missed it right there, I didn't press it. <coughs> He'll drop right here, and then run past this zombie so they don't fall on you, because then you can climb right up here, and then voila, you're in this loot site. Now there, I won't show you all, like, I'll show you where one of the uh, guns I found was. So if you go in here, you'll find a lot of meds, Gauze. You can see there's that really nice spitter. So now this is where I got all my med supplies from. This is really helpful. As you can see, I have over 50 supplies. I probably won't run out for even towards the end of the game. Um, nothing really back here. Now if you run back here, there's more gauze. You can use for crafting. And then... You can lockpick this, which I believe there's just more med supplies in there. So if you want to go for that, go for that. I believe there's a weapon in there. I'll just... What the heck, I might as well lockpick it, right? There we go. Yep, see there's a hammer, and then there's a jewel box. Oh, I haven't found a jewel box before. Is there anything I... I do have a gun, by the way. I found the gun through here. I don't think I found it in here. I might have found it in this one. I don't think I did that. Lockpicking can be very tedious. Oh, crap. So it was over here somewhere, but I didn't really get it. Oh my god, alright. So I won't do that. <laughs> I don't think there was a gun in there. Which is why I'm not going to do it. I don't really need a gun that much, so I'm going to craft some more lockpicks here. There we go. There are more med supplies in there. Yeah, I believe it was in one of these, which is where I found the gun. Now, if you're going to do this, try to draw as little attention as possible. Because I did end up killing literally every single one of the zombies. So as you see, there's a crusader, which is a weapon thing. And now you have hammer that you have. Um, don't have anything that would match that. See that zombie just fell. So I will have to take out some of these zombies. If I want to get to this police van over here. Uh, I don't know. Okay, don't draw my attention. Don't draw attention. Oh, oh, oh. oh well, I had 107 health. I didn't even realize that. Oh, it might have been because of my uh, 
skill points I had. But the zombies are also getting harder to fight. Like Let's lock pick this real quick. Just do some more looting, I guess. And all this stuff will respawn, so if you ever need more supplies, just come back here, I guess. Because you will get a lot through here. I have a feeling it's in the front somewhere. Okay, what was there? one annoying thing about this lockpick. You think you have it, then your lockpick breaks, and oh, it's so annoying. Ah, oh, didn't even give me a warning that it was going to break. Alright, I don't know what is in there. But... Oh, now he's going to drive. Alright, so there was... There, I'm pretty sure there's a gun in that car. I'm pretty sure there is. Almost 100% positive. So there's a gun in there. And now, I believe that there's a gun in there too. And in one of those po two policemen. Pretty much, oh my gosh. Pretty much what you want to do is just lockpick all of this. Because this is all going to be of importance. And... Zombie. Oh my gosh, I literally was just about to unlock and the zombie comes running out. Oh crap, I'm about to die. Just about to unlock and that zombie comes up behind me. Oh my gosh, these are parkour zombies, they're like strong zombies. Oh my gosh. Right. Thanks for all the troubles. Alright, right, let's try this again, see what's in it. There we go. Alright, so we have another hammer. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Uh, yeah, so pretty much this is the loot spot. Definitely check it out. Uh, yeah, this will be just a short tutorial video on what's going on. I don't think I'll do a gameplay of it because I already started the campaign. Definitely, if you guys want to see some more content, some more tutorial videos on... Well, yeah, just let me know, because I'll definitely do some if you guys want to see some more of what this game is like. So, yeah, for now, this has been Mr. Berries. If you want to see some more content, and, sorry, I'm trying to focus here. Yeah, if you want to see some more content, and you want to see me do more tutorial videos like this, definitely leave a like, subscribe, it really makes me, helps me out. Um, so, yeah. Now this is Mr. Berries, uh, signing out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.